a major fabrication works worth over $10 million for the five-year Jubilee Southeast expansion development project has already created over 200 jobs for Ghanaian technicians. The fabrication works expected to help the Jubilee field increase its current daily production by over 20,000 barrels in five years has been subcontracted to Awesome Oil and Gas, a Ghanaian petroleum support service provider. Since the business news is Akwesi J. Nim, who visited Awesome's Apua Fabrication Yard, reports that beside the project contributing to local employment, it is also ensuring capacity building for Guinean technicians. The five year Jubilee Southeast development expansion is expected to increase the Jubilee Fields daily production volumes to about 100,000 barrels, representing an increase of over 20,000 barrels per day. The scope of the fabrication work in Ghana is in excess of $10 million. In line with Talo Ghana's commitment to local content capacity building, it has, through Technip, subcontracted Awesome Oil and Gas, a local petroleum player, to do fabrication work for the project here in Ghana with several Ghanaian technicians engaged. We are handling uh, fabrication of uh, very critical subsea equipment and they'll be utilized on the Jubilee field. Um, some of those equipments include uh, suction piles, manifolds, m mud mats, um, goosenecks, uh, griages, uh, as well as uh, frames and beams. Um, so there's a huge scope uh, that will be done here in Ghana with well over 1,200 tons of steel and well over 600 tons that will be actually manufactured and fabricated here in Ghana in our workshop. Um, so we're really delighted of this uh, opportunity to be able to show the capacity and the capabilities in country uh, with uh, over the years well over 500 welders, fitters, fabricators, uh, technicians uh, with their electrical, QHSC um, uh, as well as uh, HSC who have been trained uh, by us, all Ghanaian. And they're all working on this project dedicated to deliver this service for Technip and Tol. To have a first-hand understanding of what exactly the contract entails, I was taken through the welding and fabrication processes. Um, so this is a part of the fabrication for the suction piles. Uh, we pass in uh, uh, flat uh, plates of steel, we roll it, weld it, and stack them on top of each other. This is uh, the type of uh, structure where the uh, subsea equipment will be sitting on, on the bed of the ocean. So here we have trained the technician to be able to operate the machine. And we also have welders, fabricators, and riggers who help in the process of being able to make this into this can. But what exactly goes into capacity building processes before working on such a crucial fabrication project? We are doing a welding qualification. So we are mimic what we are doing is we are mimicking the actual job that we are going to do over there. So this DQR qualifies us to weld the actual manifold. And if this passes, the welder that did the qualification also passes and it becomes certified to weld on the project. It's part of our program of training, of manpower development. This is a very complex uh, welding procedure. Awesome viewed this project as a testimony of Ghanaians actually coming of age when it comes to support services to the oil and gas industry. But for Talo, it is a clear case of its commitment to Ghana's local content allies. That's quite exciting here because we, I was there in Takaradi on, uh, on Tuesday and I took the opportunity to visit some fabrication yards. So this is when they really kind of assemble these very complex uh, subsea structures. So it's, it's, you know, each one of these is probably over 100 tons of steel. And, you know, previously we had sourced them from Houston, but, you know, it's a tremendous sense of pride we have when we go there, you go into the yard, uh, you see, it's all Ghanaian owned. It's it's uh, it, it, they're they're taking raw steel and they're building these really complex you know subsea structures uh, there. So you know a lot. I mean, <clears throat> all the subsea infrastructure really in in <laughs> in Jubilee Southeast is fab being fab fabricated here in in in, in Takarani. The many Ghanaian technicians you see them working here on the Osam project over here at Akwan. It's a clear case 
of the capacity that many Ghanaian youth have actually gained when it comes to working within this oil and gas industry here in Ghana. For City News, I'm Akwesia Jenim. Apo